Can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Let's start with a square. Now let's have a point inside the square. And from this point, let's draw two segments connected to these two vertices of our square. And this angle right over here is given, which is 75 degrees. Now the length of these two segments are square root of 3 and square root of 2 respectively. Now the goal is this segment, and let's call this as x. The question is, what is the length of segment x? Now pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. All right. So given the square and those informations, the goal is to find the length of this segment x. Now our solution to this kind of question is what we call the solution outside the box. So let me show you. First, let's focus on this triangle. And what we're going to do is to rotate this triangle outside of our square. And it looks something like this. Now, in such a way that this segment is square root of 2 and this red segment is x. Now, from here, what we're going to do is to connect these two points to create another triangle. And we will focus on that triangle. Now, what do we know in this triangle? So first, this angle is exactly this angle. Therefore, we have here a right triangle. This is an isosceles right triangle because these two sides are congruent. And since it is an isosceles right triangle, this angle should be 45 degrees. And also, the hypotenuse of this isosceles right triangle is square root of 2 times square root of 2, which is 2 units. Now, since this is also 45 degrees and the whole thing is 75, the remaining angle right over here is technically 75 minus 45 or simply equivalent to 30 degrees. Now, let's focus on this triangle on the top. And we are now ready to solve for the value of x because what we need is the law of cosine. So using the law of cosine, we can also for the value of x. So let's see. Using the law of cosine to this figure, to this triangle, we can say that this x is the missing length. This 2 and 3 are the known side, or this is a and b, 2 and square root of 3, minus 2 times 2, which is the known side, times the cosine of the angle opposite the missing side length, which is 30 degrees, or we have times cosine 30 degrees. Now, if we simplify the right-hand side of our equation, we get that x squared equals 4 plus 3 minus 4 times square root of 3 times cosine of 30, which is square root of 3 over 2. We have here 4 plus 3 is 7. Then multiply 4 times square root of 3 times square root of 3 over 2. We get 2 times 3. And 4 plus 3 is technically 7. And let's focus on this result. Now, 2 times 3 is 6 for sure. 7 minus 6 is 1. So x squared equals 1. And if we get the square root on both sides, we get the value of x. And we disregard the negative value for x because x here is a side length. So x is equal to 1. Therefore, given this figure, then we found that this x, or the length of the segment x, is equal to 1 unit. And as always, we are done.